Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Inner Empress and you're here at Inner Empress Readings. So firstly, I would like to say welcome to those of you who this is your first time watching as well as welcome back to those of you who have subscribed to my channel or have watched some of my videos before. Um, I know I have been kind of missing in action for a little bit, but that's just because life, uh, things kind of got busy, had to take care of those um, priorities. And I never want to read when my mind is cluttered. I never want to give a excuse my language, half-assed reading. So now that the majority of my busyness is taken care of, I'll have the next few months free to myself to really pump out more videos. So this particular reading, before I get to it, I just want to say thank you so much for all the support, for all the donations, for those of you who have purchased private readings from my Etsy shop, and also a special thanks to our who sent me this beautiful oracle tarot deck i cannot remember the specific name of it at the moment but i will be sure to post it in the description box below um some of the cards from this are actually in this reading and i think you'll really enjoy it this is a very beautiful deck so thank you so much r now in regards to this reading this is for my earth signs so I already released fire and air, um, water will be dropping next. And this is for anyone who has a earth sun sign or has earth heavy in their chart. Or even if you're looking for someone um, who is an earth sign, you're just kind of checking in on what the universe wants them to know. So to my earth signs, my Capricorns, my Virgos, my Taurus, this is for you. So we're gonna start uh, with Capricorn. And you'll be able to find the timestamp for your sign in the description box below. And whenever you're ready, just click on that and join me on the reading. Also, for those of you who may be wondering why my setup looks a bit different, I'm actually on vacation and I snuck away to the hotel room for a few minutes to do this reading. Um, the vibe just felt right and I happened to bring my cards along. So I really wanted to get this done for you all. And no worries, when I get back home, I'll have all the candles and everything once again. But... I hope you enjoy this reading nonetheless. Here we go. All right, so for my Capricorns, welcome, welcome, fellow Capricorns. I too am a Capricorn. Um, this card is not to alarm you when it comes to the tarot. The Capricorns are actually signified by the devil card. Um, this card, it doesn't mean anything evil or anything of that nature. It pretty much speaks to the Capricorn um, traits of being hardworking and sometimes being obsessive when it comes to our hard work or perfectionism. Sometimes we do tend to be a little worried based when it comes to certain goals. And so there are also a lot of good qualities about us as well. Um, but it really just speaks to that and also being ruled by Saturn. So this is not to alarm anyone. This is just in the tarot, the devil signifies Capricorn. Now, moving into what the universe wants you to know, these two are actually action cards, what the universe wants you to do. So I'm going to save these for later. But we have ask for help from other people. You know, it's interesting because I feel like us Capricorns, we kind of have a problem with doing this. Most of us are so capable or feel as though we're so capable that we kind of tend to be stubborn goats. Um, we won't ask for help a lot of the times unless things really kind of almost hit rock bottom. And I'm really just getting a sense from these cards that for some of my Capricorn watching, you may be dealing with a situation in your life where you might need outside assistance and there's nothing wrong with asking for that. It also just hit me something about needing to collaborate and network more. Some of you might be stunting your growth in certain areas because you're not connecting with people. You're not just reaching out i just heard vulnerable so because some of you are not being vulnerable and actually talking about some of your fears or some of the things you want to accomplish you're not getting the help you need so what i mean by that is asking you shall receive so because some of you are not talking about what it is that you want to bring into your life and you're kind of worried about having the image of i have it all together People are not allowed to assist you because they don't know you need help. They can't suggest someone you should meet or um, some place you should go or something like that. There's some bit of information that you're missing out on because you haven't even let the universe, you know, verbally know that you need it. We also have your ready. Okay, it's really hitting me real quick with this onk symbol within this angel's hands. Um, she actually makes me think of like Cleopatra, uh, Nefertiti, something like an Egyptian goddess. And I'm really just getting a sense here that for my Capricorn, something with being ready for life. 
Now, these buildings back here almost feel industrial to me. Uh, I don't know, but that's just hitting me. So some of you might be like feeling ready to move into some type of career choice. Some of you might be feeling ready to move to a new location. I feel like there is a very professional vibe here. Like there is some big change in your life, like some big level that you're ready to go to the next pretty much level on. Um, there's an energy of hesitancy hitting me. I don't know. I'm, I'm feeling hesitant. I'm feeling paused for some reason. And I feel like some of my Capricorns watching might be feeling that way. So in regards to this next level, even though the universe is telling you you're ready, you might be feeling like you're not ready. You might be feeling like, I don't know, some major shift is happening. This might be some type of some type of field or adjustment that you have no experience or knowledge in, like this is new for you. And this could be in regards to love, it can be in regards to family, it can be professional, whatever the case is, but there's some type of newness and I feel like a part of you doesn't want to be a novice. You don't want to look inexperienced or have to start from scratch for something. And so I feel like there's a hesitant pause happening. Whew. Okay, so my Capricorns, um, in regards to romance, we have free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. Before I get to this, let me set this to the side before I get to this. And I hope you can see the cards, guys. I'm sorry. This is not my normal setup. So, you know, I'm on vacation right now. So I just try to set up whatever I could. Let me see. All right, we have material and spiritual prosperity. Three cards actually wanted to jump out for this one. We have, okay, so this is the Six of Pentacles, Five of Pentacles, Financial and Material Changes, and then we have the Three of Wands, Partnerships and Alliances. Okay, so before I turn these over, um, this is really hitting me, this Five of Pentacles, Financial and Material Changes, with what I was talking about with you already. So there is some type of change that is about to happen, and just to put it out there, guys, I do not turn these cards over, you know, after I shuffle them. When you see them, that's the first time I see them. But it's really hitting me with this five of pentacles, what I was talking about with that change. There is some type of change that needs to happen. It can be in regards to your finances. It can be in regards to schooling. I just heard tuition for someone. Someone might be dealing with something with like financial aid that is... Um, I feel like there's an uncertainty. I feel like there is... like. I just heard pulling teeth. So some of you in regards to financial aid or something with money, loan, something of that nature, I feel like it possibly has been a difficult process, a very uncertain process. But the universe is letting you know that there are definitely some changes that need to be made, some decisions. Um, I just heard left out. Some of my Capricorn might be feeling left out from something some type of potential financial or material gain you feel as if you haven't been included in it or it could be even the fact that you feel as though other people around you are gaining uh, financially or abundantly and that you seem to not be on that same level or your abundance isn't coming in as swiftly um and i'm hearing not true from the universe it's not true so the changes that are happening in your life they're happening for a reason. There's something that needs to be cleared out. The path needs to be cleared. I heard foundation. So some foundation has been laid so that you would be ready to receive this abundance. Also, I feel like the universe is purposely, purposely putting you through some of these hardships because it's trying to make you ask for help from other people. It's trying to make you, I just heard connect. So some of my Capricorn watching, the universe is purposely trying to make you rely on other individuals because some of you are too to yourself. You're too self-reliant. You're not allowing yourself to branch out and make important connections and the universe doesn't want that. Therefore, it's pushing you into a corner in a sense to where you have to ask for help. Now, this is not a bad thing. And the reason why I say this is because these changes are leading you to material and spiritual prosperity, as well as, like I said, partnerships and alliances. So for my Capricorn, whatever hardship you might possibly be going through, or for some of you might be moving into soon, please know that it's for a reason. Please try to see the greater good out of it and understand the fact that the universe is doing this for a reason because there's so much better. There's, I just heard, not on your own. So the universe wants you to know that the blessings it's trying to bring to you 
is going to be so much greater than you would have been able to achieve on your own. And in order to get it, you have to build relationships. You have to build new connections or go to a new job or whatever the case is. There needs to be a sense of working with new people or with a new mindset. And in order to do that, you have to be expanded beyond your current comfort zone. Because that's Capricorn. I, I know for myself, when I get comfortable with something, you know, that's like kind of it. I mean, I don't have a problem with experimenting necessarily, but I can be a little stubborn when it comes to change. I don't like unpredictability. And I feel like for my Capricorn who are watching, you know, we don't necessarily gamble all the time. Not unless we feel like we'll win, if that makes sense. And so in this case, even though there are blessings around the corner and even though you have a sense that this is where the universe is moving you, I just heard dreams. Some of you are having dreams about this new change, about this new move you're supposed to make in whatever area of life. Even though you're getting the signs from the universe, there still is a caution in you that's making you, I just heard fear. So some of you are holding on to fear, holding on to what you know, even if it's not the best for you, even if what you know is not necessarily helping you right now, it's what you're used to. And so the universe is trying to break you out of that. Um, I heard annoyance. And when I heard it, I had this feeling of, I don't know, for some of my Capricorn watching, I had this feeling of the universe kind of annoying you with the presence of someone who is like very bubbly, very optimistic for some of you. So you may have had someone kind of introduce themselves into your life that might be a completely different opposite personality than you are. And they're purposely like trying to give you assistance. They're kind of like not getting the hint that you're trying to, I don't want to say brush them off, but no, I got it. So for some of my Capricorn watching, the universe is like pushing insistent type of help in your face through another individual who is not going to give up to like on you. And it's for a reason. Don't, don't allow, don't allow your pride to get in the way of the blessing that this person can bring to your life. And it can even just be a tidbit of knowledge. It could just be the fact that they drop some type of wisdom that you didn't have before and you can take that and run with it. Or it can turn out that this person, I don't know, somehow helps you in the long run, but the universe is very adamant about the fact that it's trying to help you and you're kind of being stubborn to where it's like, I don't need the help. I can do this on my own. And the universe is saying, no, we have heard your, your cry for help pretty much. We've heard what it is that you want. And in order to get there, we need you to accept this assistance. Assistance is not always going to come as a beam of light and, you know, winged angels coming from the sky. Sometimes it comes as a message that was passed on through a coworker. Or from a friend or somebody you actually just took the time to turn to and be like hey how are you and a conversation sparks even though you normally wouldn't talk to someone in that random situation you took the chance to do it and now you have the next piece of the puzzle so that's a message for my capricorns um i'm feeling guided to turn these two over before i get to this so i'm going to go ahead and do that all right so we have the moon and we have the two of pentacles so capricorn we have a lot of earth energy popping up here um, I'm not really surprised because, you know, we are an earth sign, but I do not feel for some reason in this sense that it is a grounded earth feeling, especially with this moon. I feel like it is a um, sinking. That's the word. I feel like it's a sinking feeling. And as I was saying before, for my Capricorns in this pile, you do not want to be stuck. You do not want to be stuck in your own ways. You don't want to be stuck in a way of thinking any you know not moving to the next level progressing but i feel like some of you do feel stuck um there is an energy of i don't want to say confusion but something is off there's some type of energy that's off i feel as if my capricorns might have been more emotional lately than usual i don't know if perhaps it is the retrogrades i feel like mercury is always in retrograde it feels like every time i turn around it is but um i know this particular mercury retrograde has been very interesting for me emotionally um i've been feeling kind of like this two of pentacles it's like a seesaw up and down however i feel as though for my capricorns uh who might be experiencing that that the universe is telling you to just kind of i just heard don't engage so you might be slightly pulled into arguments you might be pulled into miscommunications i feel like there's going to be high charge situations around you i don't feel like it's my capricorns right now who are going to be 
um, I guess spastic in a way. I don't feel like you know you're the the instigator of arguments and stuff but i feel as if there's going to be a lot of energy around you sparking off with other signs i just heard water so i feel like perhaps some water signs around you are going to be a lot more um temperamental than usual or people with heavy like water in their uh, natal chart so just be mindful of that um just respect the fact that also like the the sea goat you know the this half fish part of you is going to be affected by that so even though you're trying to keep cool on the surface you're going to be feeling spiritually and emotionally like you're kind of getting tossed around you might be feeling like there's mixed spiritual signals going on to where you felt like you were getting pointed in one direction but you're having dreams or seeing signs in another so i feel like right now the universe is just talking to you about um just relax and I heard highest good. So whatever decision leads you towards your highest good, I feel like that is where you need to set your compass. Don't allow your emotions to block your intuition, to block what's actually right. So that's important for my Capricorn who are watching right now. Also, some of you might be stuck in between some type of choice, like picking some type of direction. Um, you might have two or several options, but I feel like there's some type of choice in regards to do I stay where I'm at or do I take, you know, and we've seen change throughout this reading quite a bit, but some type of direction that the universe is putting in front of you. And I feel like right now it's a very unclear time. So I would say, even though you have to make a choice, even though you have to make a decision and take yourself to a new level, um, be mindful that you do not have to rush and make that choice right now. Some of my Capricorn, you need some time. You need some time. Also, I heard something about a... It was something like a deceitful person. Something like that had flashed through. And some of my Capricorn, you might be dealing with some type of individual in your life that, or even situation, that something just doesn't seem right. Something just seems off. And I would tell you to listen to your intuition, but also I hear wait. So the universe wants to unravel something to you. Perhaps there's a certain option you're looking at, like maybe I should move here or here or take this position or study this class or um, talk to this person or whatever the case is. I just heard something about a will for somebody, something like that. Uh, yeah, something like that came through. There's some type of choice or decision important that needs to be made for you and for some of you watching something does not feel right and you can't pinpoint it you don't exactly know what it is but you just know that your alarm bells do not feel right i'm hearing to go back to the ask for help from others um it is okay to ask from people that you feel in your heart as though you can trust like getting a second opinion for some of you that is going towards medical i feel like some of you need to get a second opinion medically about something um for others of you I just heard cover your ass. <laughs> so for some of you, I feel like you might need to cover your own ass in a sense. Make sure you're checking facts. Make sure you are um, just compiling whatever information or notes or something that you need to have. But also make sure that you're talking to a reliable source. Make sure, you know, you're kind of looking over your sources or, or your options with someone that you trust. But even with me saying that, I'm getting a feeling of some of you might be talking to someone who you know in your soul you don't really trust. Um, I just heard on purpose. So some of you are talking to this individual on purpose. I don't know if you're trying to do the whole keep your, um, what is it, friends close, enemy closer type of thing. But the universe is saying that is not what you need to be doing right now because this individual, they're affecting your energy. It literally is a dampening and darkening of your energy being around this individual. And so you are actually hurting yourself more by trying to keep this person in your sphere. So some of you need to disengage from such an individual. And that's going back, I feel like, to free yourself. Some of you are dating this person. I just heard marriage. Some of you are married to this person. Now, that doesn't mean that I'm telling you to break up or get a divorce. What that means is that... For some of you, and please keep in mind this is a very general reading, so I'm channeling for a lot of different energy. But for some of you who that resonated in your soul, you're going to have to decide if this is a case where you can just sit down and really talk to this individual and see if you two can come to an understanding and come to a healthier solution for your relationship. Or 
if you know in your heart that this is something you need to walk away from, you need to have the courage to do that. As I said, I'm not telling anyone to just rush and make any type of rash decision. You need to really sit and evaluate which group of that, um, those two Capricorns do you fall into. So for others of you, there's something with low self-esteem. Some of my Capricorns have a low self-esteem. Um, some of you feel trapped. I heard body. Some of you are dealing with body images and you feel trapped in your body. Uh, something with, what did I hear? Uh, I heard something about wrong sex. So some of my Capricorn watching, I feel like you may feel as though you were actually put into the wrong body. So you may identify more with being gender fluid or being, um, and I'm sorry if I'm saying any of the terms incorrectly. Uh, I'm not as knowledgeable as I perhaps could be on the subject. So if I accidentally am disrespectful at all, it's complete ignorance. And please feel free to educate me and call me out on it. Uh, but those of you who may identify more spiritually as a male or as a female or gender fluid, I feel like there is some feeling from some Capricorns here of being put in the wrong body. And that is really affecting your life, really affecting the choices you're making. Because I feel like perhaps you have not... I don't know, there's some type of solidification that hasn't happened yet. So perhaps you haven't fully come to terms with that in your mind or like express that to those around you. I just heard respect. So some of you may feel as though, and not even just in regards to your identity, but for my Capricorns watching in general, some of you, I feel like respect is important and that there is some aspect of feeling like you are not receiving the respect you deserve. But I also get this sense of some of you are not demanding the respect. So there might be individuals around you or um, a situation that is challenging you, that's actually kind of disrespecting you and you're not standing up for yourself. And the universe is very much talking to you about freeing yourself, especially because this is the romance card, I feel like for some of my Capricorns, it's important in regards to your relationships to make sure that you're freeing yourself from anything that's mentally holding you back, physically holding you back, um, emotionally. I just heard can't love. Someone, some, someone here, Capricorn, feels either like they're not lovable or they can't love someone else like an individual other people in a certain way or something there's some type of notion that's here that is stopping you from moving forward and the universe is trying to tell you that you absolutely have the power to move in whatever direction you want to that there's actually quite a few blessings here for you connecting with people abundance materially and spiritually emotionally on all levels but you have to be brave enough to move past whatever ideology you fed yourself or was fed to you that you clung to still. You have to be brave enough to move past that and be ready to ask for help. Some of you, that might be therapy. Some of you might really need to go talk to someone professionally. For others of you, that could be as simple as expressing yourself to someone important in your life or someone close to you and just telling them how you're feeling or asking for help. I just heard I don't know how. So for some of you, you might feel like you don't know how to ask for help. But also when I heard that, it felt more like of a question coming from the Capricorns in this group. So I feel like some of you might need to talk to some individuals and just tell them like, hey, I don't know how to do this. I'm not sure how to do this. Can you help me? Can you teach me? Can you talk to me about this? You know, for some of you that might be talking to someone and being like, hey, I don't know how to love you the way you might need. Can you talk to me about it? You know, I feel like there's a big, I, oh, I'm sorry. I feel like um, it's like an energy, like a, a unsure, shaky energy, nervous energy that's running through me real quick, uh, right in my chest. And for my Capricorn, like, I really want you to know that it is okay to be vulnerable. There is nothing weak about being in touch with all sides of yourself and being um, aware you know, being aware of yourself. When you're aware of your strength and your weaknesses, your weaknesses no longer are something that can stunt your growth. It's something that you work towards to add to your list of strengths. So identify these things that make you uncomfortable. Identify these things that you're afraid to talk about, to address, and don't allow it to be something that you kind of feel like this hidden shame for.
I also want to point out that the moon can also be seen as um, a water sign. Some people read this as Cancer specifically and others uh, kind of read it as Scorpio. I tend to read it as Cancer, but it does relate to water signs, so it could be Pisces as well. This is very specific, but I'm very drawn to the dogs here, the dog and the wolf. I feel like for someone specific, um, Capricorn watching, something with your animal, something with your animal possibly acting weird at night, I feel like, um, I don't know, something like, I don't know, I, I, I'm seeing like a dog at night staring off into like some corner of the room. So I don't know if you have a pet that's been like acting strange at night, staring at a, a corner of the room, probably barking at some area of a room or something. I feel like they are sensing an energy, um, could possibly be a visitation. I don't feel like it's a negative sense, but I just do feel like there is some type of spiritual energy that is going on. And like I said, this is for someone very specific. So if this is something that you are actually um, experiencing, you know that this is for you. Um, I don't know. I heard witching hour. I heard witching hour, but when it, when I heard it, I saw like three, something with 3 a.m. I don't know if it was 3.45 that flashed real quick in my mind, but it, it's some type of time around three or so that I feel like some of you might have been awakening from dreams or your dog or animal has been acting up, something of that nature, but it's around that time. I feel like your intuition has been very strong, Capricorn, very strong. You're tapping into that, that sea goat side of you. But as I was saying, um, there's kind of like a mixed signal going on. There's some confusion. So just don't make any huge decisions right now. Allow yourself to, allow yourself to just be. Allow yourself to just be. I feel like the next piece of the puzzle will come to you soon. And while you're being, just work on yourself. Work on those parts of yourself that is stopping you from connecting to other people, stopping you from asking for help. If you need to ask for help, go ahead and do that. Right now, it's big on your own self-development. And when you are able to move past that, that is when the universe will bring you the next piece to the puzzle. This is also specific um, for some of my Capricorn watching. There's something with travel. So something with travel not going as you had planned. I feel like there might be some ups and downs with this and back and forth. Could be um, that you're waiting for information or go ahead about something. And it just seems to not be like straightforward. Um, the communication, something is, something is like topsy-turvy with the communication. someone specific i see something with a fire but i feel like it is a fire in regards to like a job so i don't know if someone's job i don't know why i'm seeing fire i don't know if fire has affected your job if maybe a part of your your work building has caught on fire or something but i'm seeing something with fire fire specifically in a professional setting and I feel like it, that's possibly workplace so like I said I'm sorry that's not going to resonate with everyone but that's specific some of my Capricorns here your lower chakra um, I feel like your solar plexus your sacral I'm sorry not sure how that's pronounced sacral sacral chakra um, and root chakra there's a blockage happening some of my Capricorn here, I feel like you have been overly activated, like in a sexual energy. So you're operating very um, in the lower energies. You're you're operating on the earthly level in a sense. So very physical. Some of you have been possibly dealing with sex addiction or not even necessarily that for some cases, but feeling addicted to um, some type of physical gratification. So it could even be like, 
I just heard massage. So some of you might be like overly physically pampering yourselves with massages or buying clothes or something like that is happening. And the universe definitely wants to talk to you about kind of breaking free from that. And I need to go back because they're hitting me with the message of the body image. Um, once again, as I was seeing in this card, something with the self-esteem. So some of my Capricorns watching, there is a feeling of dissatisfaction or I just heard focus, like heavy focus on the body. So some of you, it could be the case of you like heavily working out right now because you're not happy with your body or I don't know, perhaps you're like working out is the thing that makes you feel the, the physical gratification. Some of you might be overly working out. Um, some of you might, I don't know, there's something with the body and I feel like it's a, a feeling of being trapped though. So it could be a sense of not liking your body, not loving your body, wanting to make some type of change to it. I just heard lipo for someone that just hit me. Um, but there is some sense of needing to love your body more. I'm hearing forgiveness. Someone needs to forgive their body and also, not, not even just their body, but I just heard, um, I'm sorry, it flashed so quickly, I wasn't able to catch it. It, it. it was about the forgiveness. It had a family vibe to it, whatever the message was. It, it had a family vibe and it, it gave me a sense of some of you, like I was saying before with um, ideas that were given to you, like stigmas that were kind of like planted in your life planted in your head i feel like for some of you this deals with body issues um something with someone close to you could have been a, a mother it could have been a father it could have been a, a sibling someone close to you perhaps implanting negative body image stigmas within your mind and you trying to break away from that you needing to break away from that also, I just heard judgment. So some of you might be dealing with some type of judgment in regards to your body, whether you're very skinny or if you happen to be heavier or something. It, it doesn't even matter. There's some type of judgment some of you are dealing with. And I feel like there might be an individual around you or some type of environment that's really been making you look at yourself lately, perhaps in comparison to something else or someone else. And I just feel like it's a very physical focus right now for my Capricorn. So... Please just be aware of that and please make sure you're channeling your energy in the best way possible for some of my Capricorns who are dealing with that. You might, as I said before, need to go talk to somebody. You might need to talk to a therapist, talk to a nutritionist, talk to a doctor, talk to whoever might be making you feel this way, you know, and let them know that this is harmful for you. This is hurtful and you're not going to engage in it. And if you can't talk to the individual who might be making you feel this way, then go talk to a supportive person, a support system. Very specific, but for some of my Capricorn in this particular pile, I just heard abusive. So some of you might be dealing with an abusive relationship um, that does not have to be just romantic. It can be platonic. It can be in regards to family, can even be in regards to work. If you're dealing with a situation that makes you feel like it's a hostile work environment, um, there is some type of feeling of being trapped that is happening and feeling like you can't get away um also for some capricorn there is some feeling of like that i'm picking up with this unicorn something is trapping you because it's almost making you feel like if you leave this there will never be anything better and that's an absolute lie the universe is letting you know that when you are ready to make these changes beautiful abundance is going to come into your life so i just want to put that out there For someone specific, something with uh, protected sex is coming up. So please make sure you're using protection. I also feel like uh, for someone specific, I feel like I'm speaking to the same person that you need to make sure that you stay up on your sexual health. Something with like either going to get tested. So this might be something you need to start doing more regularly, especially if your energy has been triggered in the more physical realm, the lower chakras, and you're having a lot of sex or you're thinking, uh, I heard virgin, someone might be thinking about losing their virginity and the universe is just talking about making sure that you are protecting yourself so you might want to go get tested with a partner um i heard fear 
So someone might be afraid to go speak to a partner about getting tested or you might want to tell a partner that you have something or have had something. But uh, I feel like this is a necessary talk and this is something that needs to be done um, just for the wellness, the wellness of yourself and others. And if it is a difficult talk that you need to have, like if you need to sit down with someone and let them know like, hey, um, I actually you know, live with this or whatever the case is, I feel like the universe wants you, I heard like almost intimacy coach, something like that, like speak to someone, I guess, who deals with relationships, deals with sex or intimacy, like perhaps a, a sexual therapist or something and learning how to communicate about sex, learning how to talk about like, for instance, um, just putting it out there. But if you happen to live with HIV or uh, herpes or anything of that nature and you need to talk to someone about it because you want to move forward with relationships but you're not sure how to express this definitely overcoming this fear and having this talk and knowing that you know you're a stronger person for being aware of this and talking and and preparing your partner and just knowing that who you're meant to be with you will be with anybody who has an issue with you um expressing to them is not necessarily someone who is meant for you now that doesn't mean that people don't have the right to make their own choices and decide like hey thank you for telling me um you know i'm going to choose to perhaps go in a different direction there's nothing wrong with that just like you have the choice to do whatever feels right for you but there's something for someone about your life like improving when you embrace and learn to properly communicate this Especially because I feel like it's been weighing somebody down very heavily in this group. Don't dwell in fear. That's the main thing that's coming to me for the Capricorns. Like, don't dwell in fear. I feel like we are such analytical thinkers and we try to think of every possibility like that could happen, plan for it, have backup plans, contingency plans, all these different things. When really some things you can only really predict for yourself, like what you'll do and allow the universe to guide everything else. But don't move in fear. Make the choices that come from your heart. And when you do that, the universe will make sure that blessings come to you, which is what I definitely see for this pile. Now I'm gonna move into the advice. All right, so my Capricorn, we have surrendered to your soul's path. Your life's journey has been perfectly designed for your soul's growth. Embrace every lesson and every moment. That is beautiful. And then we have surrendered to receiving love and support. Well, I just switched those, but support and love. This is funny because we have asked for help from others. And this is exactly what has been popping up throughout this whole reading about being vulnerable, about... Um, you know loving yourself more and allowing other people to connect with you and so the universe the advice to you what it wants you to do is to surrender to receiving support and love allow the love and support of others in rather than trying to handle everything yourself this can take the pressure off and simultaneously nurture you i mean that's exactly what we were just talking about and then in regards to you know you kind of doing what you can for yourself and allowing the universe to step in and fill in the other pieces that that's exactly what this card is talking about surrender to your soul's path so to my capricorn in this group honestly there are so many blessings that are coming to you it really is a matter of not standing in your own way and being vulnerable enough being willing enough to put yourself out there in a position that kind of scared you and that you don't have control over in a sense but doing it and allowing the universe to bless you beyond your wildest dreams that is what's hitting you for capricorns and that is what the universe wants you to know and also this is a timeless reading so whenever you watch this this is when the message is relevant for you in your specific situation so thank you so much capricorn for watching i'm sending you lots of love and light and positive energy you know as i said i am a fellow capricorn as well so i will be making sure to take that message to heart also because sometimes you know, I, I just try to fix everything as well. And it really is so much more satisfying when you can really see the people in your life that you can lean on and depend on. And you see how even just watching how other people solve situations can be mind opening. 
You know, there are so many different ways to achieve a single goal that to see how someone else thinks and processes and goes about accomplishing something can sometimes wow us when we stop and be like, wow, that's a possibility I possibly never would have um, done or considered. So I really feel like this is a time of expansion for us by looking outside of ourselves, looking to others and allowing ourselves to to allowing ourselves to be cared for. I feel like this is a time where we really need to just let people love us, if that makes sense. So once again, to my Capricorns, thank you so much for watching. If you happen to like this reading, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Um, let me know what resonated for you down in the comments below. I read all comments and I do make an effort to try to reply back to everyone. Also, please keep in mind this is a general reading for the collective. So if you would like something specifically tuned in towards your energy or your specific situation, I do offer personal readings in my Etsy shop. You can find the link for that in the description box below. And I also do readings on a variety of topics. So career, spiritual development, love. Um, I even have a section where you can choose your own topic. So it doesn't have to just be astrological. But thank you so much for watching and I am wishing you all the best. Take care. Hello Virgo, thank you so much for tuning in with me today. Let's look into what the universe wants you to know for yourself or perhaps for a Virgo you're watching for. All right, so before I turn over the other cards, um, this Hermit card is really hitting me right now. I feel like some of my Virgos who are watching, you might have, you're, you're either going into a moment of solitude or you're transitioning out of that can be in regards to your dating life it can be in regards to your social life i feel like there is some type of deeper introspection that you're going through where you're really kind of trying to take time to yourself i just heard um i just heard something along the lines of like like where do i begin so I feel like some of you are trying to figure out where you begin and another situation ends. So you might be trying to figure out who you are in the midst of a relationship, in the midst of, I don't know, you might be a mother, a father, a, a spouse or something, and you're just trying to figure out your own identity outside of something that you've been a part of. And I feel like uh, my Virgos here, you're being driven by an inner light. I also feel like some of you have rediscovered some type of dreams that were very important for you and you're feeling very driven to go after that, to go towards that. And that it seems like synchronicity is coming into play. Like a lot of different signs and, and steps are kind of aligning themselves for you to go in this new direction. And I just heard let go. So some of you have you've had to let things go in order to follow this path. Could be a dream, a previous dream, could be a career, could be a partner, um, a friend, somebody not supportive, whatever the case is. I feel like some of you cannot take certain things with you on this journey, that it's a very kind of light pack that you're bringing with you, but it's teaching you so much. You're learning so much at this time. All right, so. These are going to be advice cards and I'll get to these later. And I just want to point out that this is a timeless reading. So whenever you happen to watch this video is when the message is right for you. Um, this is also general for the collective. So there are going to be some things that I say that do not resonate with you at all. And that's absolutely okay. Only take what does. So for what the universe wants you to know, we have communicate clearly. And there's something better. Okay, so just like I was saying, and also putting it out there, I don't see these cards beforehand. I shuffle them and I turn them over and when you see them is the first time I see them. So what's really grabbing me is how we were just talking about you moving towards something, something new, something that you feel driven towards. Could have been an old dream or something of that nature, but leaving something behind. And that's really hitting me with this, there's something better card. So some of you are realizing there's something better out there for you. Some of you are actually being offered something better. Could be a relationship that's been opening your eyes, could be a job position, could be anything of that nature, but there is something better in your life versus what you've been either about to settle for, have settled for, or been dealing with. This Communicate Clearly card, um, for some of the Virgo watching, I feel as though you do need to start communicating more clearly. You need to start actually speaking about your dreams. Also, I heard something about sharing your ideas. 
So for some of you, you need to start speaking up and you need to start letting people know that, yeah, I do have great ideas because I feel like some of my Virgo are being like overlooked for opportunities because you're not talking, because you're not speaking up and standing up for yourself. Um, also, there are a group of Virgo here who I feel like you have been communicating more clearly. Some of you have possibly been making that effort. I just heard save. So some of you have might you might be trying to like save your job or save a relationship. So I feel like somebody here has been making efforts to learn how to be better, learn how to communicate better, to either do their job better or be a better partner or something, better sibling, something. There's some type of willingness to go the extra mile and to communicate. So as I said, for some of my Virgo, this is something you have to work on, especially because you have such wonderful ideas and insight, but you're either afraid to say it or something of that nature is going on. So the universe is telling you, you do need to communicate more and more clearly. But for a large group of my Virgo, I feel like you actually are doing this. Like you're doing this right now. You have been making effort. I heard something just now about notes. Some of you might be communicating more through writing. So it could be like texting or literally writing out notes and leaving them around or something like that perhaps being in a diary or writing poetry or noveling something blogging even there's something with the written word that's hitting me very strongly for someone where you are exploring expression through writing all right so we have codependency addictions are affecting your romantic life Reconciliation, someone from your past is returning to your life. Obstacles and challenges. Okay, it just hit me. I feel like some of you have actually been contacted from an ex. Um, this can be an ex-partner, an ex-friend, or an ex-business or something. But there's some type of something you left behind that is trying to come back. Um, now, I was saying before with this card of walking away from things, especially something that perhaps did not serve you in the past, and it's really hitting me with this codependency card of my Virgos here realizing what isn't serving them, and either you have already made the moves to get this person or situation out of your life, or you have been heavily considering it. I feel like my Virgos here, you're either in the middle or you've already crossed the threshold. I don't feel like my Virgos like it's the starting point for you for some reason like i feel like what the universe is talking about right now is like you're halfway through if not already there so some of you might have to communicate clearly that you're going to be kicking someone out of your life some of you might have someone from the past coming around or perhaps you want to reach out to someone from your past there might be the fact that you want to communicate clearly with someone especially if you've been working on your communication and working on some of the codependent habits you had in the past there is a feeling of improvement here there is a feeling of introspection of looking into oneself and so you might have discovered better qualities of yourself and are actually trying to go back to some type of position or person or situation this obstacle and challenges um for some of my virgo i feel like this is past energy so once again you had to overcome some very hard times in your life i heard um like substance addiction for someone so some of you might have had to overcome some type of addiction some type of perhaps alcoholism or sexual addiction or uh, self-medicating in some type of way there's something and I feel like that that was a very difficult thing that you had to overcome but you've been working towards that for some of my other Virgos this might be an energy that you're currently in now but I don't feel like it's such a terrible thing I feel as if the universe it's kind of putting you at a dead end so you have to turn back towards something. You have to turn back. I feel like there's areas of your life that you have not addressed yet that you have not dealt with and the universe is trying to make things almost difficult for you. Like you can't get to that next level until you finish what's on this one. So it's really hitting with this communicate clearly and reconciliation that there might be some unfinished business for some of my Virgos here. Okay, so we have accelerated motion. All right, so things are happening fast. Things are happening very fast. Uh, for some of the Virgos here, I feel like you might be breaking up with somebody. For some of you. Um, for others of you, you might be getting engaged. Like it's, it's a very fast movement, but I feel like it's a fast movement after something has been cut out. 
So for those of you who have cut something out of your life, you're seeing a lot of accelerated motion happening quickly. Things are starting to like opportunities are popping up or, you know, you're meeting you, you some of you just probably met someone right after you broke up with another individual. Like there's some type of accelerated energy now that you have cleared the pathway. However, for some of my other Virgos, I'm getting an energy of I'm getting an energy of things are not going to start happening for you until you take care of something. Um, what is it? What is it? I almost feel like it's wishful thinking as if you are taking the time and thinking about something over and over and the universe is trying to push you into the energy of making you act because i don't know if you can see it but this star right here this shooting star is really hitting me right now in regards to the star that's in the hermit's lantern and i feel like the universe is trying to drive you towards that something better but some of you are being very stubborn about it and it's like if you have not cut off or completed what you're supposed to complete and cut off then the universe is almost, I don't know, I feel like some of you might be feeling like there's promptings, things that are pushing you. It might even be people around you who are like getting very antsy lately or I don't know, there's like a rushing type of feeling, trying to get you to rush and do something. And so, you know, many of my Virgos here, there is an energy of the universe wanting to bring instant like blessings into your life, but it can't do that while there's this blockage that needs to be dealt with. Wow, look at that. So we have the Four of Wands and we have the Page of Wands. Fire energy here. So with this, what I want to point out with the Four of Wands is some people tend to see this as the Twin Flame card. Um, so I just want to put that out there if that resonates with someone because of the 1111. Um, however, the Four of Wands has to deal with celebration, has to deal with freedom, first off. That is a very freeing card because it's like you lay down the foundation for something and even though all the work isn't done you get a moment to kind of rest and relax and just be proud of how far you've come so there is an energy of you needing to kind of take pride in yourself kind of take pride in and how far you've come in a situation and how much you've grown like i said there's an energy here of growth with my virgo whatever lesson it was that you were supposed to learn i feel like you are either on the cusp of completely getting it or you have already got it like graduated in a sense and are moving towards that next level and so the universe is trying to tell you to kind of take some time to yourself enjoy it enjoy your life enjoy yourself have fun um some of you might actually be moving towards engagement or marriage as i was saying this can be seen sometimes as like a wedding card and so there is a feeling of coming together and with this page of wands i always see this page of wands as like a very um playful adventurous shy but not afraid to take on a new challenge type of energy also very creative so i feel like my virgos as you go deeper in and also what i love i just want to point out hope you can see this um i'm on vacation so my setup isn't the usual setup so i hope that you can see everything properly but what i love about these cards right now is that the hermit as i said has the shooting star has that inner guidance direction spiritual compass that is guiding them and then we have the page of wands and i'm always drawn right here to the wand in the both of these like Anytime I see the Hermit, I tend to think of the Page of Wands. And it's like having that curious, curious, determined energy to move forward in a new path. And it's like, I don't know where I'm going to end up, but I'm just going to keep going. And so the universe is telling you to have faith, to have faith that you're being guided and you're being led on this new journey for a reason and for the betterment of yourself and others. And to know that blessings are going to meet you along the way, but you have to be willing to step on the path first. There is something far greater ahead than anything you leave behind. Now, and I love that quote, and I just feel like it's so relevant for my Virgos who are watching. And you even have the card that says there's something better. So there's something that's just out there for you, just beyond for you. And you have to be willing to take that step. Some of my Virgos, you need to take a risk. 
you need to take some type of risk. Now that can, and please understand, I'm never going to tell anyone, uh, you know, you should break up with someone, you should leave your job, anything like that. I'm never going to say that. What I'm going to say is that what I am seeing from the energy here is that there needs to be some change. Whatever you are doing that is making you feel stuck, making you feel like you're not moving in the direction that you want to move in, the universe is telling the Virgos here that you need to sit down, you need to really look into your heart, and you need to be willing to move forward in a direction that perhaps others will not understand, but you need to move in. And that might mean you have to do some things alone. For someone I just heard business, some of you might need to start your own business alone. You might not have the support you thought that you were going to have or the business partner who originally you discussed it with or whatever. Somebody might have pulled out or whatever the case is. There is a need to move forward because it's going to lead you to so much better. I'm very drawn to the dove symbol. It's like a, I, I suppose it's a dove. It's a bird. Could be a, a eagle or something. But to me right now, it's looking like a dove. And I feel like there's some type of peace. Some type of peace that is trying to um, kind of soothe you. Especially for some of my Virgos who might have been dealing with a hard time. I just heard back to back. So some of you could be dealing with like a back to back hard time. It just feels like... You just can't get a break, you know, like something is continuously happening. But I feel as though there's a lot of spiritual support around you. I'm very drawn to these little orbs. Some of you might have actually been seeing orbs, especially in pictures. And the universe is letting you know, like, you're not alone. You have support with you. I'm going to point out because it stood out to me before, but I didn't mention it because I wasn't exactly sure. Um, but it's hitting me. With these dolphins something with dolphins for somebody i don't know if this is perhaps a nickname that you had for a, a partner or what you called yourselves um i don't know if you perhaps had a tattoo together a matching dolphin tattoo or something with like a picture together on vacation with dolphins but i feel like dolphins are very important dolphins also i believe um some people equate them with soulmates so like that spiritual bond so i just want to point that out because it's important for someone um, there is some energy here, very specific. I feel like for a very small, small, small group of my Virgos watching, something with a partner who may have passed away, uh, some of you who might be in hermit mode, might be the fact that you are either widowed or um, have been single for a while because of your partner passing. Um, I get a sense here that you hold on very tightly to that relationship. You hold on very tightly to that love and your partner is with you. I get a sense that your partner is with you and there's a lot of love that's around you. But I also feel like there's an energy that the universe wants you to embrace moving forward. It wants you to embrace the possibility of loving again, of being with someone else in the future because I feel like for some of my Virgos who I'm speaking to specifically right now, there is almost an energy of like betrayal. You don't want to betray the love that you had or the memory of this person. But I get an energy from them that it's okay. They are watching over you. I feel like you might feel them. You might, like especially when you're, I feel like in the cusp of going to sleep, right in between. Especially some of you who might feel like you're waking up in the middle of the night. And it's like you're not quite woke, not quite sleep. And just feeling your partner there. Um, there's an energy of that going on. Also, something with the, the communications coming through. So you might be having dreams. Or I feel like some of you might actually hear, like you hear, you know, your, your partner that passed away. I feel like you hear something. Either words they said or sentences or someone saying their name. And like you look and it's something like that. There's some type of message that I feel like you're clearly picking up. And the universe is trying to let you know that it's all right. It's all right to move forward. Um, some of you, I feel like, perhaps are, are addicted to, I don't know, there's some feeling of just like, I don't know. For, some, for someone, it might be guilt. It might be like the guilt of not wanting to let go or something. I don't know exactly what it is, but it's, it's like a muddled feeling. And the universe is letting you know, like, you do not have to hold on to that, that all things happen 
in divine timing and with the divine plan. And I hate saying that in a sense because I know that there's a lot of fucked up things that happen in the world. And to simply, in a sense, say that almost feels like you're just putting a band-aid over it. But honestly, there are certain things that take place and there's a much bigger plan behind them. And the universe is asking you to trust in it, to have faith, and to embrace healing. Some of you, I think, are holding on to past pain and possibly a past relationship to avoid the healing. So there is something about that that is coming through. I also get a sense of drinking. Um, drinking, some type of self-medicating from the pain. It could be from the pain of losing a partner, whether that be to a breakup or an actual passing. But there's some type of self-medicating and the universe is talking to you about maybe you need to go talk to someone about this pain. Maybe you need to. I heard writing. So some of you possibly have been writing to like help you through this um, or possibly need to start writing. But there is a matter of need to express yourself to help rather than drinking or um, whatever other form of addiction is taking over to numb that pain something's also coming to me very specific for someone about um i feel like you might have been communicating with your ex possibly recently um i feel like there is an energy from the universe of like don't and this is for those individuals who you have not had a positive experience with your ex. Like your ex is clearly a very toxic person and you know this, you know they're toxic, but it's something very addictive uh, about the connection. And a part of you is almost like trying to allow yourself to, what am I trying to say? Like almost like a friend zone situation. Like you're leaning heavily on your ex as almost like a best friend or Something of that nature, like you're speaking to them about your new partners or prospects or just areas of your life that they technically should not have access to. And I'm not saying that all exes can't be friends or um, civil or any of that type of stuff. Not saying that at all. But who I'm talking to specifically, this is a toxic person in your life. This person could have cheated on you, could have belittled you. There's some type of energy here that you, you tend to be addicted to this person, having them around even at the expense of yourself, of your own healthy boundaries. So if this resonates with you, then I'm speaking to you. And what I'm saying is that some of you who I'm talking to, you have let this person back in your life. You have been communicating with this person. And the universe is saying that as much as you're trying to act like this is a healthy connection between the both of you, it's actually not. And you have been realizing this. I feel like some of you have been losing sleep. Some of you have not been able to eat. You're feeling yourself fall back into an old pattern that you were so determined to break away from before. So don't allow yourself to fall into that. Some of you need to get out of this. You need to close that line of communication. You need to not allow this person to have that spot in your life because friendship is not a demotion from a relationship. Friendship is just a different area of life. But if someone could betray your trust as a partner, they are, in my opinion, not then worthy to be in your life as a friend who should be a support system. Now, as I said, this does not mean that all exes have to hate each other, can't be friends or anything like that. But when somebody blatantly tries to hurt you, tries to put you down, tries to belittle you, and they were supposed to have the position in your life of a partner, someone you would build your life with, when they could turn around and do that, they should not then be given the title as a friend, you know, just as a placeholder of, well, I just want you to be around. No, your friends should have just as high of a standard in your life as a partner is. And I mean, of course, with variations in regards to what you do with a friend and what you allow with a friend and so forth and so on. But it all comes down to anybody in your life should be somebody who genuinely loves you, supports you and wants the best for you. Not someone who treats you potentially like shit, uses you and, you know, gets to just stick around just because you slap the title of friend on them. That's what I mean. Let's get to the advice, Virgo. 
All right, so Virgo, we have surrender to play and surrender to your full power. It's really hitting me this beautiful yellowish -y color here. I feel like there's a lot of divine energy around you right now, a lot of sun energy. So Virgo, I actually feel like you're actually picking up on quite a bit fire energy. You might be feeling that too. You might be feeling very creative and motivated and, and, and just passionate about something. Um, I don't know. I just feel like that energy is hitting also i want to point out that there's a lion here so you might some of you be dealing with a leo um just want to put that out there let me see if anything else stands out to me no but as i was saying with this four of wands and this page of wands this is fire energy then we have this almost looks like the queen of wands to me i mean this is not a tarot deck so it doesn't correlate but she looks like the queen of wands to me, holding this sphere and having this lion behind her. Lots of just very strong fire energy. And it says, your life is calling for you to step into your full power rather than playing it small. And this one says, take a break from overthinking a goal. Do something fun. Play is a time of recreation and rejuvenation. And I feel like that is very important for my Virgos who are watching. I feel like... The universe is definitely trying to get you to go on this journey of self-love, of self-actualization like and realization. So you see just how powerful you are. And I also feel like so you don't you something with needing someone just popped up. Um, so you realize that you really don't need whatever it is that you were leaning on before as a crutch. You know, there's nothing wrong with having support around you. There's nothing wrong with having uh, a network of friends or family or anything of that nature. But some of my Virgo, I feel like you might have been playing it small. And the universe is really trying to get you to dig inward and do certain things alone. Go it alone. Really see how capable you are. I just heard single. Some of you might be a single mother or a single father um, or are possibly about to transition into that phase of life and may have been worried about that and the universe is letting you know whatever it is that you have to do on your own and you may be afraid of transitioning there you're going to be okay you are absolutely going to be okay also make sure you have more time to yourself to have fun i feel like you need to connect to the inner child in you um you know just just go figure out what you love what makes you happy what do you want to do what you know where can you be carefree and just joyful i feel like some of as i said before where is that right here some of my virgo you either are coming out of a hard time or you know you're you're dealing with it now i don't feel like you're transitioning into a hard time like i said i feel like it's a middle energy or an ending energy and you need play you need some type of relaxation right now to kind of take your mind away from overthinking what you've been so focused on. And when you allow yourself to be more playful and open and carefree, you also allow yourself to listen to your intuition more versus getting stuck in your head. But yeah, that's all that I'm seeing, Virgo. Thank you so much for watching. If you happen to like the video, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I do take the time to read every comment, and I do try my hardest to comment back to everyone because I appreciate that you, you know, took the time to watch the video and to let me know what resonated for you. Um, also, please keep in mind, once again, this is a general reading for the collective, so I'm channeling a lot of different energy. But if you would like a more personal reading where I zone into your energy or the specific energy of a situation, I do offer those readings in my Etsy shop. So you can find the link for that in the description box below. And I do offer readings on a variety of topics. So um, career, love life, uh, spiritual advancement. And I also have a section where you can choose your own topics if you have like a specific question that's more relevant to you. Um, so not just astrological readings. But thank you so much for tuning in. And please know that I'm sending you lots of love, lots of light. And Virgo, go have fun. Go have fun. Go listen to yourself. Go break away from whatever's been holding you back and have some fun. You need to listen to your intuition. You need to follow your dreams and the universe is trying to get you to do that. And of course, like I said, I'm never going to tell you to do something that's going to hurt you or those close to you. What I'm telling you to do is get more in touch with you, yourself, and that way you can make decisions that are truly right for you. So once again, sending you love and light. Take care. All right, Taurus, thank you for tuning in with me today. 
let's look at what the universe wants you to know. All right, so Taurus, for some of my Taurus here, I get a sense that some of you possibly could have had a promotion, um, if not a promotion, some type of upgrade. You might have upgraded something in your life. You might have actually went from like dating to engaged or from engaged to married or like an apartment to a house. There's some type of upgrade that's going on with my Taurus right here. I also feel like some of you might possibly have been getting some type of praise um, there's some type of acknowledgement that is happening. I feel like um, you, some of you could even literally have become mentors or something with a professor, but there's definitely a feeling of being looked up to. There is respect here in this card. Definitely a feeling of respect. I also feel like some of you might have possibly become closer to some younger individuals within your life. Perhaps you're an aunt or an uncle or something of that nature and you've been getting closer with like a younger sibling or a niece or a nephew or there's some type of feeling of somebody looking up to you and coming to you because they trust you and coming for advice. So that's really hitting. Um, for someone specific, something with the church hitting me i don't know if you have recently joined the church or taken uh, a more active stance in your spiritual community perhaps like that's hitting so perhaps becoming um a priest a high priest a priestess high priestess something of that nature or i don't know someone could possibly be considering becoming a nun or something but there's something with like going deeper into a spiritual base committing oneself dedicating oneself also for my my Taurus here something with doing the right thing so I feel like there might have been a decision that you had to make I also heard turn down some some of you might have turned down something that wasn't right for you and you feel like it's the right decision to have made could have turned down someone who wanted to be with you or a position that just wasn't right or I don't know there's something with like doing what was right and it's just like it's a positive energy coming from that doesn't mean that for some of you it wasn't difficult to do but there's a positive energy that is coming through because of that decision now this card right here is advice um from the universe so i'm gonna pull this up later but these cards we have helpful people we have no for the romantic aspect we have retreat it's time to disconnect from the world we have truth, spiritual strength, three of swords, and ten of wands. All right, so instantly turning these over, this three of swords and ten of wands is hitting me right now with what I was saying about some of you having to turn something down. You might have had to walk away from something that you possibly really did want to be a part of or... You know, there was some type of fascination there, but it's like, I can't be here. It could have been a work situation where you were feeling overloaded at work. It could have been a love triangle that you just had to walk away from or you weren't even trying to engage in. But there is some type of sense of just having to make a hard decision, a hard but necessary decision. I just heard fired. Someone may have possibly lost a job or something of that nature, but it's a feeling of it's for the best. Someone I feel like is carrying a secret here that is really hitting them. It's really weighing you down and the universe is talking to you about doing the right thing. So some of my Taurus here, you might need to do something that even though it's difficult, even though it's hard to think about or do, or you know it's going to hurt some feelings, it is what's for the best. For some of my Taurus here, there might be some type of betrayal that took place before that you're trying to heal from, but it's weighing on you heavily. I don't feel like there is peace yet. I feel as if the situation has not been properly um, discussed and talked about, and that's perhaps why it's not truly being healed. Now, with saying that, it's very much hitting me with this no card and this helpful people. I feel like some of my uh, Taurus here might possibly need to speak with someone 
Uh, it could be professionally, could be, as I was saying, to reveal something. There's also a sense of with this no, I feel like this no is you. I feel like some of my toys here, like with that saying no to something, like being very strict in your morals, very strict in your guidelines about something. You're saying no, I can no, I'm not going to take you back. No, I'm not going to forgive this. I'm not, you know, there's some type of no, I said what I said type of energy. Um... For some of my tours, a very select group, I feel like that energy has actually been directed towards you when it comes to a situation that you were really looking towards. Um, that could be where the heartbreak card is coming into, that perhaps you have been turned down from something, but it's because it was meant to happen. It was meant to happen, especially if it was in regards to a love situation with this retreat card. I feel like the universe is trying to help move you away from whatever it is that you thought you wanted. Now, for some of my tours, and the energy is more... Um, perhaps positive i would say in regards to the romantic life this retreat has more to do with kind of like bubbling yourself as a couple um and for those of you who may have relationship structures that don't involve just two people kind of bubbling yourself away from the like the scrutiny of society of other people so it's kind of like keeping something to yourself in a sense and that's not necessarily a bad thing but i do feel like it's a, a need to be around uh, more like-minded people so even if you know you're not in a relationship that has more than one individual even if it is just a couple that I'm talking to and this could even be about a friendship or something it's some type of relationship where I feel like it's almost fragile if that makes sense like it's delicate and I feel like something with not being everybody's business so there's a sense of keeping something to yourself and kind of retreating um especially because with this energy here i also feel like some of you are dealing with like gossip or outside forces trying to trying to cause trouble i would say in whatever the situation is so it can be a workplace it can be um romantic or whatever but whatever it is that you're dealing with i feel like there is an outside energy of someone else or several individuals whatever the case is um, trying to make things harder for you now with saying that this truth card is hitting me very strongly um as i said before some of you need to tell the truth some of you might actually be hearing a harmful truth coming soon i feel like there is a need to kind of get everything all out on the table and even with saying that if this is a situation that is work related or family related um even love related there is a need that all the details are not necessarily in front of you yet and that or perhaps you have not presented all the details to someone and needing to sit down and getting all of those facts making sure you have all of that I feel like some type of situation from the past for some reason I keep hearing like um old issue keeps popping up so for some of you this can be an ex that's popping up this could be an old issue from a family uh situation or a work situation or something there is an old issue for some of you that is not resolved and it keeps trying to pop up and the universe wants the truth of it to finally be faced resolved and kind of healed in whatever way that's supposed to be for you know the individual that is listening now with this spiritual strength um some of my tours you've been going through it like some of you i feel like you have been going through it and in multiple different ways so what i mean by that is the energy that i picked up from the beginning of this some of you have had promotions happen some of you have um kind of elevated your relationship or i just heard responsibility so some of you might have stepped up in the family for some reason like you know taking on a more responsible role in a, a family situation or something however it has been quite trying it has been quite taxing on you mentally emotionally and spiritually and so the universe is letting you know that you know you need to kind of get into asking for help from others and not trying to do everything on your own whether that is asking for people to help like cut into the responsibility share it with you or going to speak to someone someone you trust someone professional who you know can can talk to you about this but i feel like there is an issue that has been weighing on my Taurus here and the issue does not have to be a negative one for all of you watching it could be the fact that you went towards a job opportunity and you really wanted it and now that you have it it's so much responsibility on you that you you need help you need help to kind of like hold up this structure 
there is a sense of healing here though i feel like um spiritually there is a healing that is happening within the heart chakra there is definitely growth that is happening i feel like whatever it is that you have had to endure and deal with or have taken yourself to the next level to has actually grown you i just heard mature i think some of you you might actually hear people calling you mature a lot more lately um or remarking on how much more mature you seem or something like that is coming through i'm, I'm hearing it faintly and it's because you really have changed i feel like you've changed in such a short amount of time from whatever it is that has recently happened whether you have gotten a promotion or a new area of your life or had to deal with some type of hardship i feel like it has grown you exponentially in a short amount of time however with my taurus i feel like don't try to carry the burden of everything. I'm getting that very strongly with this Ten of Wands here. Don't try to carry the weight of everything. Allow other people. And it's funny that this would come up because I saw this also in the Capricorn reading um, of needing to ask for help, of needing to, I just heard perfectionist. So some of you might be afraid to ask for help because you feel like, well, I'm supposed to be the one who has all the shit together. I'm supposed to be the one who people lean on. Like I can't reach out to someone i can't let somebody know i'm struggling or whatever the case is and that's not true you are a person you are a human being no one is expecting you to be perfect and if they are is that really an individual you need to be trying to impress at the end of the day you are who you are and that is good enough so there's something coming through with do not be afraid to let someone know hey i need some help or hey i need you to start stepping up and pulling your weight around here because I feel like some of my Taurus, you've been taking on more responsibility from some individuals around you because they haven't been picking up the slack. For some of my Taurus here, um, this is the ones that I was talking to about taking a relationship to the next level. I feel like in regards to marriage, you may be... Like planning a honeymoon or something with like going away on a honeymoon um for some reason that's hitting me with the helpful people card i don't know if you receive some help in regards to being sent on your honeymoon paying for it or something like that but some of you might actually have had to wait to get married because you were trying to get the funds together or trying something i heard order so trying to get something in order in order to make it happen and i feel like the universe is talking to you about kind of relying in a sense on other people like letting them know what it is that you're trying to achieve so people can have the option to pitch in and help also this no like i said i do feel like this is my taurus i feel like perhaps you've been saying no lately Perhaps this has been like something you are adopting, like being able to put down boundaries and tell people no. Um, also could be something with an ex, could be something with an over demanding boss. Just being able to say no is powerful. And I feel like for my Taurus here, like some of you have really been using that power, really experiencing that power. Some of you are saying no to pain, like to some type of heartbreak, like you're not going to hold on to this anymore. Something very specific is coming through with someone's child. Um, I feel like, I, I don't know, it, it's, it's something that's either legal or school. It's like a setting like that, um, some type of formal setting with someone's child. I don't know if it's a matter of you having to step to someone of authority because of something with your child, but I don't know, it could even be like a court case or something, but there is some sense of that with someone's child um hmm. but just know that you have support around you just know that the universe is with you and whatever it is that this is the universe is with you and is supporting you just stay strong Tories. stay strong i feel like I don't know. It's like a burnout energy that I'm feeling. So even if you're not going through anything like tumultuous, I still feel like there is a heaviness, like some type of tired that is happening. So just make sure you're not overworking yourself because you are such a very capable sign and steadfast, determined 
sign make sure that you know you're not burning yourself out because even though you can get something done doesn't mean that you should get something done doesn't mean that you should step in and like help everyone or alleviate a situation just because you can do it because that's going to burn you out the more you step into places that perhaps other people were meant to take on and grow from so let's look at the advice surrender to silence it says in quiet meditation or contemplation let go and enter the stillness within silence can heal and replenish you I love this and you know what it's really hitting me with this card being connected to this card like right in front um it's really hitting me what I was saying with needing to kind of step into yourself and not do so much for other people in a sense I really feel like for my Taurus here what it said with silence can heal and replenish you that like like I was saying with the heart chakra there is a healing that is happening there is growth that is happening um in regards to the meditation and contemplation I feel like some of you need to spend more time kind of just to yourself you know just to yourself I feel like some of you are so used to like being a provider and a protector in this group that you are so busy thinking about the needs of other people that you sacrifice your own and so for my Taurus really take time to yourself now this could even be time that you set aside each day just for you even if it's just 10 minutes you know what 10 minutes to myself each day at this time and dedicate to that dedicate but I mean you are doing such a wonderful job and it really is just a matter of I feel like for you is self maintenance right now like it really is self maintenance and just just devoting time to you because as i said there is a feeling of something unraveling like there's something in the process of becoming known and you need that time so whether it's being in silence with your partner because you just got married or whatever is going on in your life with that some of you i just heard like under wraps so some of you might have a relationship or had experience in certain relationships where you've shown off your partner and then negative nosy people came out of the woodwork and perhaps instead of going that route like for instance social media all that type of stuff maybe keeping your relationship to yourself for a bit you know just enjoying the presence with your partner for others of you it might be a matter of just having silence within your own life within yourself whether you're single or not just needing to take some time to yourself especially if you have so many people who are looking up to you who need your help if you're in a manager position or whatever the case is there is a sense that you need to center and as i was talking about that heaviness just feeling like it is a weight on you now for some of you you might be dealing with gossip as i mentioned with the three of swords you might be dealing with gossip you might be dealing with petty people and arguments or opinions and you just need time to yourself like let people say whatever they want to say let them have the situation you stay out of it you stay love and light you stay focused and it will clear itself out now of course that does not mean let yourself be walked all over i would never tell you to just lay down and take anything but if you don't have to engage with someone negative don't add fuel to their fire is what's hitting me some of you something is also hitting me here with like travel so you might be traveling to a quiet place you might be traveling to a resort traveling to a retreat like a spiritual retreat some of you might be traveling home and your home might be in a smaller area or a more quiet area than where you currently are now or are used to and there's some need to like connect back to roots like that's what's hitting me of connecting back to roots possibly traditional roots so even like family roots or something of that nature but that's hitting me But yeah, Taurus, that's all that I'm seeing for now. If you happen to like this reading, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I read all comments and I do try to take the time to comment back to everyone who has commented to me because I really appreciate you taking the time. So please keep in mind this is a general reading for the collective. So if you would like a more personal reading where I zone into your specific energy or the energy of a situation, I do offer those readings in my Etsy shop. You can find the link for that in the description box below. And I offer readings in a variety of topics. So 
for love, for career, for spiritual development. Um, and I even have a section where you can choose your own topic. So if you have a specific question you want to ask me, you can go ahead and do that. And um, so it's not just astrology readings that I provide, but I really appreciate you taking the time, Taurus. I am sending you lots of love, light, and positive, positive, positive energy. And I hope that you do take the time to just kind of care for yourself care for yourself and even if it's because of a hard revelation that you have to either deliver to someone or you're getting yourself um I, like i said i just feel like there's a very heavy energy responsibility there's a lot of responsibility on your shoulders for some reason and i just feel like i don't know something about depending on you like maybe others are depending on you or something of that nature and that's a lot of weight to carry so make sure you're doing what is right for you make sure you're taking time to recharge your spiritual batteries and please know that it is okay to allow other people to figure it out in a sense the universe loves us all so even if we fail or succeed or whatever the universe will always give us opportunities to do better so definitely know that even though you may love or very much care for certain individuals in your life it is okay if you do not step up to save them for them to sit down and learn how to save themselves after possibly falling down a couple of times. So I'm sending lots of love and light. Take care, Taurus.